Hello everyone, Zion here. Welcome back to another Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today we have a very simple, cheap, and efficient villager-powered crop farm. This farm will automatically get you potatoes, carrots, wheat, beetroots, and even bread. Yes, this is a ridiculous bread farm as well. Um, so this is a stackable and scalable farm. So you can see here that we have two layers working independently of each other. We got a guy down here harvesting us some potatoes and a guy up here harvesting us some carrots. And uh, it's working just fine. And also it's scalable, so it is a 27 by 27 size farm right now, which is pretty much the maximum size that you can make. And you can scale it down to be a smaller farm, maybe like 15 by 15 or so. And uh, obviously that'll get you less carrots or whatever you're growing, but you know, it will fit pretty much wherever you want it to fit. And as you can see, these guys are pumping out the crops like nobody's business. We got a double chest of carrots down here, or potatoes, that's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, before we get into all the technical details and the tutorial and all that jazz, if you guys could please leave a like on the video, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Anyway, if all that stuff out of the way, let's get to it. So let's quickly take a moment to talk about how exactly this farm works. So this guy right here is a farmer villager, or just a brown coat, and this guy can harvest and plant crops of any kind, and that is basically all he will be doing forever in this farm, is just harvesting these carrots and then replanting them. And then this guy right here in the center, this villager of any kind, basically whatever reject villager you do not want, uh, is going to be yelling at that guy to give him some food because he is hungry. And then this guy is going to be trying to give him some food. Now, unfortunately for this guy, all that food is just going to land in the hopper here and go to our storage system. And these cobblestone walls here are just here to direct that food into the hopper. This farm is also a little bit different from other villager crop farms and the way that we don't have a blank spot permanently in front of this guy. So um, normal crop farms always have a blank spot to attract the villager back to the center to drop off his crops, but uh, we don't really need to do that. This guy just has free roaming, and he gets within range of this villager quite often, actually, and uh, just drops off all of his crops then, so we really do not need to worry about it whatsoever. All right, just a few last minute details about this farm. First of all, in a normal farm, you would have a roof over it at this height right here, four blocks above the ground, and that will prevent lightning from ever striking your villagers and turning them into witches, essentially breaking your farm. However, if you're in a hot biome like a desert or a mesa, or a cold biome like an ice spikes or an ice plains, uh, you will not need a roof because there is no lightning in those biomes. And uh, also, the lighting layout is a little bit overkill. This was just what I got to work, and I stuck with it. <laughs> and lastly, and this one is the most important, you should only ever have two villagers per layer. Um, one harvesting farmer villager and one guy in the center asking for food. Any more, and it will just be chaos, so please don't try it. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for the tutorial. The first step is to find a place to build this. So this needs to be at least 70 or so blocks away from any wooden doors or any villages or anything like that. So go far away from your iron farms and from your villager breeders and everything of that sort. And then the next step is actually pretty simple. Make yourself a 27 by 27 of dirt. Yeah, that's pretty simple, right? <laughs> and then all the way around this, you want a too high wall of whatever block of your choosing so like stone bricks or wood i'm just going to be using glass because um you know keeping it standard over there and yeah just basically get this built up two blocks high all the way around all right so this is what you should end up with and uh so far it looks pretty disgusting <laughs> not gonna lie um so i've already marked out the center block right there that is a very good thing to mark out because you're going to need that for all of your water placement so from each and every single one of the corners, you want to go in by five blocks and place down a water bucket. So one, two, three, four, and five. Do that on this corner as well. One, two, three, four, and five. And then lined up with these two sources and also lined up with the center block, you want to place down one more water source just like so. And of course, do that on every side until you have eight sources and also place a lily pad on top of all of the water sources as well. And it should end up looking a little bit something like this. So now it is time to work on your villager holding cell. So go to the center of your farm right here and punch out these corners and then just place a water bucket in each one of the corners as well. And now it's time to do a little bit of a decision on your storage. You can have your storage directly underneath the farm or maybe run the hopper line underneath this dirt to one of the sides of the farm 
or whatever you like. I'm not going to be doing any tutorial on the storage because it is just so of preference that you're all going to be doing it differently. So basically just have a hopper facing directly downwards uh, right there and you can basically just run with it from there. So then you want a whole ring of hoppers pointing into that main one right there and that is going to hold in your, your uh, villager in the center. And then cobblestone walls in each of these locations a solid block on top of each one of those cobblestone walls, and then a light emitting block in one in each of the corners of this cell as well. And that's gonna illuminate the entire farm so that all of your crops can grow. And uh, on the topic of illumination, it is also time to put in all of your light sources for the entire farm. So from each one of your lily pads, you're gonna go, go diagonal by two blocks. So one and two, and then have a two block gap and then a light emitting block right there. So that is a little bit overkill, but it will properly illuminate everything down here so that it can all grow and prevent mob spawning as well. Because uh, last time I checked, um, mobs can spawn on farmland and bedrock edition, which is kind of a shame. Hopefully that's removed. That's kind of painful, actually. Um, but anyway, you guys get the, the idea behind this. Every single one of these little pads needs four light emitting blocks around it in this pattern. Time for the best part of the entire project, tilling all of this dirt. You got about 10 minutes of tilling or so ahead of you, so uh, that is plenty of time to enjoy this. I mean, look how fun this is, guys. It's amazing. You get to use a diamond hoe for something, and it's just good. Okay, so now that your entire field is uh, tilled and ready to go, you need to get yourself a farmer villager. So a farmer villager, or rather, known a brown coat is either a farmer type a fletcher type or a shepherd type all of those guys can harvest and plant crops so basically what you're going to do to this guy is give him eight stacks of whichever crop you want him to plant so that's two three four five six seven and eight and that will make sure that he has plenty of uh crops to actually plant all this so we're just gonna let him loose and he should start planting momentarily see there we go very easy um so the reason why you give him eight is because he has an inventory of eight slots now if you want a wheat farm you have to do this in a very special way you have to make sure that their inventory is completely full of seeds so you need to make sure that they have eight stacks of seeds on them and also you need to plant all of this um so plant all this with seeds and then make sure that that guy has eight stacks of seeds in his inventory if you do this wrong, you're going to end up with a bread farm, which is not good. <laughs> also, a special modification needs to be made for wheat farms um, because you actually need to run a minecart rail underneath all of this because the guy won't be able to pick up the wheat. So um, basically just a rail line with a hopper minecart under it. That is very easy to do. You just go around all the water sources as well, and you don't need to, get to uh, cover the center area. And you basically just set that up on a clock to launch the cart every four or so minutes so that nothing despawns and uh, that is extremely simple you should have no problems figuring that out whatsoever alrighty so if you haven't uh, let this guy you know plant all the crops in you're gonna want to place four blocks on the corners of this so that that guy cannot see the center villager and then get in your extra villager so this guy is literally any villager does not matter what type it is and uh, as soon as this guy is finished planting everything out and starts harvesting, then you can remove these blocks because otherwise um, he's going to be trying to give this guy too much food and it's really going to slow down the planting process. You can also help him plant if you like, but I mean, why? Let, let him do it. <laughs> he's having a great time doing it. So if your villager randomly stops planting for some reason, that is because he ran out of crops to plant. So I just, got, I just gave this guy an extra four stacks of potatoes, and now he is on his merry way once again. Also, one final note for uh, wheat farms, you don't actually need any of this stuff in the center here. You can just completely remove the villager and the hoppers because uh, the guy that's harvesting the wheat isn't actually going to be picking up anything. He's just going to be picking up seeds. Uh, but now that everything is planted, you can remove these blocks here, and the guy should see the villager eventually and then he will start throwing crops to it and the crops will go into our chest that I put over here. And so far there's nothing in there because we literally just uh, removed those blocks. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this layer. Um, if this is the only layer that you want, then you'll need a roof at this height right here. So four blocks off the ground for um, preventing lightning from hitting them. 
Otherwise, this is very, very easy to stack. So literally just start this, the uh, next platform right here. Now for the water sources, the only thing that you need to do for those is make sure that you have a slab underneath them. So normally there'd be a water source right here on the upper level. So we're just gonna place a slab right there and that will hold up your water. And it is literally as simple as that. You just basically copy everything on this layer up to the next one. So a final note on storage, what you can actually do if you don't want lines of chests coming out at every layer, so a chest at the first layer and the second layer and the third and the fourth and so on and so forth, is you can actually just chain this system of hoppers right here to the next one. So what you would do is remove the block right here and then place a hopper right there facing down into that and then remove that block, place a hopper right there or a dropper or something of your choice, maybe even a chest, doesn't honestly matter and then just a hopper going in there so now anything that goes into this system is going to end up in our storage system down over here eventually and as you can see we actually already got a couple stacks of potatoes and i picked up some as well so uh yeah there is our hopper so this thing has been going for all of about five to ten minutes and as you can see we have a good amount of potatoes already i haven't thrown them any extra or anything that guy's just been working his butt off harvesting these potatoes and that is a very, very fine. So the last thing that I have to say about this farm is do not mix crops. If you want potatoes, plant all potatoes. If you want carrots, build another layer. If you want beetroots for some god awful reason, build another layer. And if you want bread, build another layer. <laughs> um, also a note on bread, you don't actually have to do anything, just like give them seeds and they'll, they'll do their thing. Um, you don't have to worry about inventories or hopper lines or anything like that. Um, with mine carts, just literally give them seeds and they'll turn it into bread and throw it to the guy in the center. But anyway, that is this farm completely done. Hopefully it all makes sense. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do hit me up in the comment section. I will try and help you out as best as I can. Anyway, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. We'd love to have you join our community. We're right on the edge of 5K. That would be amazing to hit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys down in the comments. And in the next video, thank you for watching. And then there was silence.